What's going on everybody? My name is Manly92 and I'm bringing you a game of Call of Duty World at War uh, and I'm playing Team Deathmatch on the map Asylum. Uh, now, uh, this is my, it's not my first match playing uh, World at War like my COD 4 one was, but this is in fact a sniping using the Arasaka and uh, I had to grind to get the the sniper scope. I used the Springfield for a bit and I was like, yeah, it's alright, but I want to try other things out. So this is the first time I threw the scope on the Arasaka. And, uh, magic. It was magic time, but <laughs> so I do remember playing, uh, Asylum as one of my split screen uh, maps of go to choice. If that makes zero sense, but anyway, uh, we did play this. It was in the rotation with my buddies. But, uh, so I did know the map layout, and I did know, like, some of the spawns and stuff, and, uh, I felt this was a good outcome. Basically, uh, what I look for in a sniper gameplay is, well, in the old-style COD was, you know, you get your kill, you get all your kill streaks, uh, get a decent KD, and, uh, well, I get another collateral. I don't know, I just like the collateral. It's, it's like the cherry on top of the cake, but, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Right here, if I want to play the gameplay, I see, like, that many dots behind me, so I'm just like, well, I'm probably going to die anyway, so let's go for montage clips, but, uh, <laughs> so, no, it didn't really happen, though, but, uh, <laughs> that's basically what my men's, my mindset was there, uh, but, uh, so, yeah, Call of Duty World at War, uh, I really enjoy it, I find, I do like the World, or the World War II setting, although it's been pretty overdone, I think this is the best one so far in the aspect that it actually went to, like, uh, the Pacific, and no really other game did both of the front lines in Germany and the Pacific, so I thought that was pretty good. Right there, Satchel Charge, I was just like, get out of here! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so sniping, basically, I really liked, well, first of all, let me say, I liked the way they set up the attachments. The easiest ones to use were, uh, the hardest ones to get, like the rifle-mounted grenades, and the scopes for the sniper rifles. So, and I don't know if it was just the Arasaka, because I haven't unlocked any other bolt-action rifles, but uh, the Arasaka scope was impossible to get. The iron sights were garbage. And I think at one point I actually said, no wonder the Japanese lost the war. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, and, um, oh, that was beautiful. But <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, so I think that's, if, I think that would be a way to go for the next one, and uh, I know it's kind of hard to predict what the best attachments will be, but uh, most of the time it's going to be the noob tubes, and if they could find a way to do the sniper scope thing like they did or for the next uh, Call of Duty, or if they did that in Black Ops, I know that no modern army pretty much uses a bolt action rifle without a sight on it, but uh, if there would be a way you could do that, like uh, maybe have different bullet types or different scopes like for ranges and stuff like that so that you unlock like the best one or that uh, last so that you could actually like so it'd be like a quick scoping snipe quote unquote quick scoping but uh just a thought I was thinking of but uh yeah um I do really like the vehicles in this game uh I found the tanks add another like aspect of the map that you need to think about and plan your routes around the tanks and uh, I really did enjoy that, and uh, although I didn't get in them too much, I basically used them as a distraction so I could flank around and kill everyone else, which I think most good Roll at War players did, but uh, occasionally I did hop in one and just rain some hell down. But <laughs> So I think if some way they can uh, put vehicles, or uh, I don't know what happened in Black Ops, they took out the amount of machine guns, I know they were in COD 4, but I think they should have more aspects like that like uh, vehicles and different things like that so that'd be pretty cool um also i i like how uh, uh i'm trying to think of what i was gonna say but uh i don't remember what i was gonna say <laughs> but uh okay so uh, the gameplay is kind of pretty much wrapping up here pretty close but uh yeah so i got my collateral i got my dogs and this was actually the first time I got my dogs called in when it counted for experience, so... But, uh, here I'm trying to go for, like, an MLG legit jump shot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to be doing a, another World at War sometime this week because I'm really finding it addicting, and I want to... You know what? I realized I'm going to go all the way to the to the Prestige on every COD game again, just for the hell of it. But, uh, 
There's a game winning kill. Uh, so yeah, 17 and 3. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, you'll expect another World at War gameplay, and I'll see you next time.